If you're watching this video, you're probably a Muslim like me, and maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're struggling with getting rid of all that excess fat on your belly that you're not really proud of. Or maybe you're struggling with being a good partner for your spouse, or even a good parent for your kids. Someone like a role model, someone with them to look up to. And in all of this, trying to get close to Allah. And maybe you tried multiple times and failed. But alhamdulillah that you found this video because what I'm about to tell you in this video and what I'm about to show you is inshaAllah ta'ala going to give you immense value to you. I will basically tell you the whole system I'm using to help my clients lose body fat, get closer to Allah, be a better role model for their families. All of that within 90 days. And I'm going to re reveal everything. I'm not going to hold anything back. So make sure that you watch this video from beginning to end and close all tabs, remove all distraction, put your phone on silent and watch the video. Bring your notebook, write down notes that seem valuable to you. And I'm sure that anything I'm telling you here, if you implement it, you will see great results, inshallah ta'ala. So let's get to it. Now to help you follow along and make it as easy as possible to digest all the information I'm about to share with you in this video, I made a slide because there's a lot of things from this system and it's much easier to visualize and see it in front of you. So in this video, I'm going to tell you from my system how you as a Muslim will lose at least 10% of your body weight, become a stronger role model for your family and even deepen your relationship with Allah within 90 days or less with the will of Allah. And this is obviously without giving up your favorite food or having to spend hours upon hours every day at the gym away from your family or even gaining the weight back once you're done with the process, which I'm, I've unfortunately seen many people do because they, they're not following a proven system like this. And here are some pictures from previous clients when they've done the system and I don't know about it, the amazing results they've gotten. And now before we dive in, my name is Simon. And in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how I help both my clients, Hafsa and Shamad, real case studies, lose over 10% of their body weight within 90 days and becoming stronger Muslims, physically, mentally, and spiritually. And let me move myself over here. Something I want you to take a note of is this is not a regular fitness program from your local gym. This is a system designed by a Muslim for Muslims in order to take care of your body as an amana from Allah and becoming the best Muslim version of yourself. And now for religious reason, obviously, I will not show any physique pictures revealing people's aura here, but you can see the process and the progress of both uh, this is Hafsa and this is Shamad, how they experience it, the result they got, you can read their comments here. And on my Instagram, actually, Whenever I share something from a client, their progress or a win, I always tag them. In case they want to be anonymous, I don't do it. But those cases, they're fine with it. I tag them. So if you want, you can just go there and message them, ask them about how they're feeling, if the system works for them. So you know that whatever I'm speaking here is the truth. And if you don't believe me, double check it with them. And what I really want to emphasize is there are some people this system is perfect for. And some people that are not a good fit for this system. Let's take a look at who's, who this system is for. So if you're a Muslim who have been struggling, getting in shape, losing 10 to 15 kilos of fat by yourself for a long time and had enough of the way you look, this is for you. If you're sick and tired of feeling distant from Allah and need a clear and a simple plan to become a better Muslim, and build a stronger Iman, this is for you. And if you're feeling guilt, shame, and or even disappointment in yourself for not being a good role model for your children, family, even your close friends, this is for you. And this one, the last one is probably the most important one. If you're not ready to return to Allah today, knowing that you never unlocked your full potential, but you need support and guidance to get there, this system is absolutely for you. So with that said, who is not a good fit for this system? Well, first, if you want to keep blaming everything and everyone and keep on hoping without putting in the actual work 
to change your circumstances, this is not a system for you. And if you're looking for a quick fix, or you don't have sabr to follow a proven system like this, that will make you a better Muslim for the rest of your life. Well, this is not for you. And if you're not ready to allocate at least 15 minutes per day, building new religious habits, healthy habits, being physically active, fixing your nutrition, all this, this is not for you. And if you don't believe that Allah wants you to reach the best version of yourself, and you don't really care in what state you will meet Him, well, this is not for you. And honestly, I'm making dua for you because that's not, that is not a good mindset to have. So if this, any of these points, if you can recognize and relate to any of these, I'm very sorry, but please close the video so you don't waste any more time. But if you want to find out what it is and how we work in the system, this is the truth of becoming a strong Muslim that no one would tell you, not even Muslim fitness influencers, unfortunately. Because as a Muslim, you can get in shape and at the same time get close to Allah. And this is without having to spend hours per day in the gym, away from your family or try, having to be a sheikh of some sort. The reason why most Muslims aren't capable of doing this is because they don't understand how to, number one, eat a balanced nutrition and being active on a daily basis, like our Prophet And number two, creating small habits that together creates big results over time. And number three, to use the stronger Muslim system that I'm about to tell you, instead of using a quick fix or do-it-myself approach. So let's get started, inshallah. There are no such things as, oh, I can't sacrifice the food I love, and I'm too busy with family and work, and all of these excuses people kind of lay out for themselves, stopping them from becoming the best Muslim version of themselves. The thing is, you don't have to spend hours every day or even have to stop eating what you love in order to become a stronger and a healthier Muslim. Now, if you want to become that Muslim, stronger, healthier, I will show you exactly how, number one, to lose 10% of your body weight within 90 days. And then number two, how to create small habits that brings you closer to Allah in different ways. And number three, how I help Hafsa and Shamad, the two clients I showed you in the beginning, lose so much weight and boosting their iman so that even their friends, families, coworkers, all of them notice. And number four, how to do all of this without giving up your favorite foods or, you know, having, giving up spending time with your family. And in case you don't know me, this is my brief backstory, how I got here. So this left picture is a picture from when I was not a Muslim. I was in this picture around 65 kgs. I was really weak, non-Muslim. I had no confidence. I was pretty in a pretty sad state, unfortunately. And then with the system I built for myself, becoming a Muslim and all that journey, this is me after, alhamdulillah. 95 kgs, alhamdulillah, I became a Muslim and got confident in all of this. I grew up as an atheist and I felt lost physically, mentally and spiritually in all areas of life. In 2017, I reverted back to Islam. I took my shahada and started to take care of both my body and iman because I realized how important they are together, not separate. And then a few years after that, I decided to become a personal trainer and started to combine fitness and Islam in my coaching, helping other Muslims to go from this before state I was in to this after state. And this is how the whole Stronger Muslim system started. And I created it in 2021 as an official system I could use. And since then, over half a thousand Muslims have gone through this and transformed their physical and spiritual health. And this is within less than 90 days. Now, the Stronger Muslim system is my own method. I built through my own trial and error by coaching hundreds of Muslim men and women, getting in shape physically, spiritually, and showing them how to keep that for the rest of their life, maintain it and not going back to their old selves. And now for the first time, really, I've decided to break everything down for you in this video. Pre prior to this, I've just, you know, shared some strategy here and there on my social medias, but now I'm, I'm gonna tell you everything. Now, in these following steps, I will outline the entire process, A to Z, of what I did to accomplish these results. So you too can also use my Stronger Muslim system to lose 10% of your body weight Become a strong, strong and role model for your own family and deepen your relationship with Allah within 90 days. 
I want to start with breaking down the system so you can kind of categorize everything in a structured way. So there are three main components to the system. We got the nutritional component where we have four different approaches to work with nutrition. And also we take a look at what is functional and what is enjoyment. And this is how you can still eat the foods you love. And then we got the physical component where we have workouts and daily physical activity. So you are, you're always active. And this is a part of the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu being an active Muslim every single day. And then we have the behavioral component where we will apply these small habits on both religion, the religious aspect and the fitness aspect. And these together create the whole system. The stronger Muslim system is broken into two essential phases. And these phases, the two phases I use is the implementa implementation phase and the progression phase that comes right after. And these are made of three main components, as I mentioned in the previous slide. Everyone starts off with the implementation phase, which is minimum 90 days up to 120 days. And this is how, this is a way of applying everything you learn from the system and the workout program and the approaches in your nutrition. It will be an initial nutrition and physical activity approach. Because what you need to do, you need to fix the fundamental part in your life. And then you, when you, that's done and you can maintain that over a period of time, make it consistent, that's where you can add things on top of that. This is where many people fail. They forget to build the fundamental. It's like being a Muslim and you go into reading about, I don't know, fiqh and aqidah and all these things, and you're not even praying your five, five daily prayers, which is the first thing you should do when becoming a Muslim. And as I mentioned, both phases are made up of the three main components, the nutritional, physical, and the behavioral. After that, you can continue to the progression phase. So it's all about you implemented the fundamental, the solid foundation we talked about, and then what you're gonna do is transition this into a lifestyle. And it's much easier than what people think. And this means that we will create a continuous nutrition and physical activity approach. So imagine you got the first initial implementation phase, you wanna lose 10% of your body weight. All right, you start losing that. After the implementation phase, you have reached that goal. So what you need to do now, you are at the new body weight, so your mat metabolism has changed, and all you need to do is to change this and, and create continuous nutrition and physical activity approaches to maintain this. And with the habits, we will create stacked behavioral habits. So you've got your primary as the foundation, and then you can stack things on top of that. Because it's much easier to start a habit and add more habits connected and linked to that habit. So here is how I optimize each necessary component of the stronger Muslim system for both Hafsa and Shaman. So they were not held back by all the mistakes they did prior to this. And finally, got in shape physically, spiritually, and at the end of the day became stronger Muslims. And that's all we want, right? So let's start off with the implementation phase for these two. This phase is last between 90 to 120 days, depending on the individual, the goals and the challenges. And before I go into the specifics for both uh, Hafsa and Shamad, I want to give you an overview of the implementation phase. When it comes to the nutritional approach, the initial nutritional approach, we got four different sub approaches, you can call it, in, in the, with the nutrition. So either you can select one of these or combine them, whether you like. And now I'm just going to give you the overview and then we'll go into the specifics, how I did for both Hafsa in these, in these areas and Shamad and how you can do it yourself. Now, in the initial nutrition approach, we got macro tracking, generated meal plan, time-specific eating, and portion-specific eating. And this creates the first fundamental piece in the whole system. And then we got the fundamental physical activity. So we got the weekly workout plan that we create for both Hafsa and Shamad. And then we got the daily physical activity. So besides the workout plan, we have some kind of activity we can do on a daily basis. And we will apply the plan ABC concept. And then we create primary behavioral habits. We follow the 1% approach, promote good habits, and eliminate bad habits. So that's how the overview of the whole implementation phase. When it comes to initial nutrition approach, to give you a little bit more detail on each subcategory, 
We got the macro tracking. Counter calories just give you the, the breakdown of the energy in the food, not the nutrition. And we want to know how much protein, carbs, and fat you eat. And this one is very accurate. It's, it's a numbers game, basically. So whatever you put in the macro tracking, you, you can be certain, like 99% certain, what kind of result you will get at the other end. Like you know how much weight you're going to lose or gain. For this one, I would recommend to use the app MyFitnessPal, which is free. And the other thing is the backside, I would say, with this subcategory is that initially it's very time consuming. If you haven't done this before, you need to weigh the food, you need to, you know, put it in the app. Initially it can be time consuming, but with time you get used to it. So that's the macro tracking. Then we got generated meal plan. And this is something we applied both for Hafsa and Shamad. So this is very accurate as well because it's like macro tracking, but instead of you doing the calculation, you have the meal plan, you have the recipes, and it's all done for you. Time consuming, yeah, because you need to cook the food, obviously. For this one, I would go to this website, eatthismuch.com, where you can generate your own free meal plans. You, you don't have to go to a dietitian, pay loads of money to get a meal plan. They have a calculator for you. So you can just put in your, your height, your age, your gender, and all this, and it will calculate an estimate of what you need to eat. And then you select your preferences, how many meals a day, and will give you a nice list of recipes and a shopping list and everything. So it's really nice. So let's say, take a look for time-specific eating, for example, which is very flexible. You have on this picture here, these are the most common ones I use for my clients. And obviously, as Muslim, we have already a time-specific eating during Ramadan. We have the fasting, right? Then the Sunnah fasting on Mondays and Thursdays and whatnot. But the only thing you need to think about is when you eat. You don't have to care about what you eat. And a good thing with this is that it can remove a lot of pressure from people because they are looking they're going into details on what they're eating. So just focus on when you're eating can really remove a lot of stress for people. So for example, we have overnight fasting. We have 16-8 fasting. You fast for 16 hours, but you can drink non-calorie drinks and eat for eight hours. What you do commonly is you do it between 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can eat and the rest of the hours you don't eat. And then you can alternate, do an alternate day fasting, which is what Dawood Alam did. You have the 5-2 diet which is the Sunnah fasting, Monday to Thursday. So you can select one of these if you would rather look at when you're eating. Now we got another one, which is probably the most easiest one, the lowest entry level when it comes to have some kind of strategy or approach with your nutrition, which is portion specific eating. We applied this actually on Shemit as well. So he had both the generated meal plan and since he was not so keen about cooking, we selected a portion specific eating. So he could alternate between these two. So even if he couldn't do the meal plan one day or cook the meal, he could still be following some kind of approach. So this one is very flexible. You don't look at when you eat or what you eat. You look, you look at how much you eat. We got an example here, the portion control strategy where you use your hand as a measuring tool. I don't know if you can see this, but you can pause the video and zoom or take a screenshot and zoom it. For example, you have the fist, which will be for all the carb sources. Then you have the palm of your hand, which will, will be for all protein sources, and then the thumb for all fat sources. So the basics here are that you look at your plate. So carb sources should be equal to the fist, the size of your fist, and the palm with the protein and the thumb with the fat. And this is a very easy way. We got another strategy, we call it half or double. This is something you can also use if you would rather to just start with something simple. You take a look at your whole day, everything you eat. So if you want to lose weight, you half the portions. Any kind of foods you're eating, just eat half of it. If you want to gain weight, however, you double it. So if you're eating two sandwiches in the morning, you just eat one if you want to lose weight. If you want to gain weight, you eat four of them. And this is a very easy approach to start off with. Now let's take a look how we did for both Hafsa and Shamed. So let's start with Hafsa. We took a look at the preferences. Which one of them would suit her the best? And she really liked to cook food, so we easily pick the meal plan approach. And we also took a look at how many meals a day she wanted to eat. So she didn't want to eat breakfast. And you can see the recipes here for the lunch and the dinner. There are at least four different variations under each meal. So she could just pick one that suited her that day. When it came to weight loss, we did some kind of balance here. What happens with sisters sometimes is that they tend to eat low amounts of protein. 
So it means they're not getting sufficient amount of protein in their body, which is very important. Like it's not only for muscle, it's for hair growth, it's for your nails, it's for your skin. So if you really want, you know, better skin and hair, eat more protein. So this would mean that she would lose around 500 grams a week in fat, which is mid intensity. You have energy during the day, but you still lose weight. So let's take a look at Shemad. And remember what we mentioned before, we decided to combine two sub approaches, which was having a meal plan and also a portion specific approach. So we made sure that he could still stay on track and we added a portion specific approach. And he wanted three meals a day. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We did the same with intensity. We had a 0.5 kg weight loss per week, mid intensity. So this is how we did for them. And now to the fundamental physical activity and how we did for both Hafsa and Shamed with their workouts and, and daily physical activity. So what we want to do initially is we want to select a weekly workout plan. You take a look at the location where you can perform this weekly workout. And then you select minimum days you can work out. And this is so crucial. People overestimate the number of days they can work out. I hear people say, oh, I can work out six days a week or all days a week. And this is just not realistic. So it's better to select a minimum amount of days you can work out. And here you can see Atomic Habits, which is the 1% approach. And I will talk more about it in the, in the behavioral component. But it basically means to create daily habits where you're physically active. And in this case, for Hafsa, sometimes we could be, be like, okay, you go grocery shopping, you do some cleaning. In some cases, we talk about having a five minute walk. So any type of physical activity on a daily basis. So you're active outside of your workout. And then you apply the plan A, B, C concept, which means that you have a plan A, plan B, plan C. So let's say, for example, that your plan A is that you do your workout at the gym. But in case you cannot do it, it's very stressful that day. All right, go back and do a workout at home. That would be your plan B. If you cannot even do that, okay, plan C, do at least 10 pushups or 20 pushups. And even in some cases, what we do is plan C is the daily physical activity. And now let's take a look how we programmed and designed Hapsa's workout. So she wanted a home workout. And this is very common among sisters wanting to work at home. She had some dumbbells. Mashallah. So we made a workout. You can see the exercises here for one of the days and some includes the dumbbells and some are just bodyweight workouts or exercises. And she wanted to work out minimum four days a week. She wanted short workouts, so like 15 to 20 minutes workout. So this would be, if you see that there's two sets, so you would do this, she would do this exercise then jump to this one, then this one and do 40 seconds of workout and rest for 20 seconds. And then she move on to the next ex exercise. So they, here you can see six exercises, which would be six minutes. And then she do that for another round. So that will be 12 minutes. So a very high intensity workout plan for her, which would help her to, to become not only stronger, but increase her cardiovascular strength and also to lose some more fat in case some days she ate a little bit more because she only ate two meals a day, right? So this helped her to stay on track. If some days she would not follow the, the nutritional plan we laid out for her, 100%. And that's fine. You, you don't have to be perfect. Now let's take a look at Shaman's workout. He also wanted to work out at home initially in the implementation phase. He didn't want to go to the gym. So we made a very similar approach here, but he didn't have any equipment. And he wanted to work out three days a week, a minimum three days a week. I want a 10 minute workout and he wanted to focus more on core. So you see, we have the up and down plank here. We have burpees, we have rotating mountain climbers. And so like four of these exercises are actively focusing on your core. So he wanted to have a strong core because he felt very weak. And in case you want to follow a workout plan for yourself, I got three different workout plans here. You can just screenshot this or pause the video. So you have a workout plan for home. So what you can do with the frequency, depending on how many days you want to work out, you do every other day workout and every other day rest. Or you could just do two workouts a week, depending on how many days you can do at the minimum. And here's a workout plan for machines in the gym. Here's a workout for the gym. If you have a barbell and all of these things, if you don't know these exercises, you can take a look at demonstrations of them on YouTube, but they're very simple exercises. So now we add the third component in 
the implementation phase, which is the primary behavioral habit. So we already touched the subject a little bit on how we did with both Hafsa and Shamad to do the daily activity. But the whole focus here is to create such small habits, but together, collectively, they generate great results over a long period of time. And you know, SubhanAllah, this is from a book. You can see the book here, Atomic Habits by James Clear. I've read this like three, four times. Every time I've read it, I always thought about this hadith from the Prophet where he said, which means the most beloved deed to Allah is the most regular and constant, even if it were little or small in numbers. And as an example, I wanted to talk about a client that just joined the system. Beside from the physical aspects, he wanted to pray tahajjud, you know, the night prayer that we Muslim pray. And she tried for several months and she failed. Never prayed <laughs> once. So we implemented these habits. I told her, let's not start at level 10 where you're trying to do. Let's start at level one. So in this case with Mu'mina, we decided to start praying after Isha or at least before sleeping. So she had those hours. And additionally, on top of this, she would only pray with the three rakah. She wouldn't focus on the quantity because we are focusing on the consistency. And what happened is she'd been praying to Hajjud every single night. So this is how powerful atomic habits are. So now let's take a look at the progression phase, which comes after the implementation phase. So we got the three components, same component. We got the nutritional, physical, and behavioral. It will be a little bit different here because the long-term, here we will focus on long-term nutritional approach where we will create a weight management and lifestyle sustainability. Then we focus on physical activity, of course, but a paradise way of doing the physical activity. It will be more focus on performance rather than numbers here. And then we do stack behavioral habits. This means that the habits you built in the implementation phase, the fundamental habits, what you're going to do now is to add more habits and stack on top of these. And this will be more focusing on environment design and long-term behavioral change. So when it comes to the long-term nutritional approach, the focus will be weight management and lifestyle sustainability. So for the weight management, you want to stabilize the new weight. If you've been losing weight for a long time, your metabolism have changed and as well with gaining weight. What you want to do, you want to stabilize yourself on the new weight you achieve. And this is the problem with many people. They skip this part and that is why they go back to the old weight because they have not stabilized it. They have not made sure to, to establish long-term approach with their nutrition and in this case, you can start combining approaches, be a little bit more flexible. So you basically keep yourself on track in some way. This is what we did with Shemit. As you can see, the weight went down in the implementation phase, and then we started to stabilize it and made sure that he was stable on his new weight. And, and mashallah, it went very well, as you can see. And this is also to create a lifestyle sustainability because you cannot lose weight forever. It's very, can be very difficult to doing this for a long period of time. Keep in mind that to create a lifestyle sustainability, you need to differentiate between eat to live or live to eat. So you want to eat to live. Eat the nutrition you need, enjoy some things here and there. You don't want to live and just eat and just enjoy it. That's not the, the goal with the dunya. Inshallah in Jannah we will do it, but in dunya you need to control your nerves. And that's what you want to do. And when it comes to the physical activity, we have now entered a phase where we need to paradise it, which means you cannot follow the same workout plan month after month after month because your progress, your development, it will plateau. So you got your micro, which is the weekly workout plan. You take a look at that every week if you need to change some things. And then we got the meso. So this is the period where you do your workout plan. And here you can split up the focus. So you don't focus on everything at once. Have a sniper focus on one thing you want to develop. For example, if you want to be, become better in your bench press, Focus on that for eight weeks, and then you can do, go to deadlift, and then you can do, go to pull-ups. And then you have macro, which is the yearly plan you have for your workout. In this case, for Shaman's case, he wanted to do a muscle-up. He was really weak. But since we improved his core, his core muscles in the implementation phase, he had a lot of strength that he was able to utilize when it came to pull-ups. So with that, he was able to do 20 pull-ups, and then with this program, he was able to do his first muscle-up as well, Alamobatic. And then for the behavioral habits, you need to look at your environment, create, design it in such a way that you will continue to promote 
good habits and remove and eliminate the bad ones. And this is subhanAllah a part of our religion as well. If you look at this hadith, the Prophet said, which means a man follows the religion of his friend. So each one should consider whom he makes his friend. So if you have four or five friends, drug addicts, they don't care about their health, you will be among them. If you have friends that are working out, they are good Muslims, they treat you know, their families well, you will also start following that because you are all affecting each other. For example, in Hafsas and Shaman's case, Shamad, when he started to do calisthenics, he met other people that also did calisthenics. So with them, he could do workouts with them, or he started to meet friends that took care of their health, and he would continue on that path. Same thing with Hafsa. She started to take care of her health, and maybe she started to talk about it among her friends and found another sister that also liked doing workouts or also had, liked to do healthy meals and meal planning. So they could do it together. So this created a support system and accountability. So they would not fall off track. And then you have long-term behavioral changes. You have the fundamental habits and you stack new habits on top of this. So you can say, as I work out, I stretch. And after I stretch, I have a protein shake. And then this will become a stacked system of habits that will create a long-term behavioral change. So the stronger Muslim system is meant to help you stop following your desires and your nefs, being lazy and wasting your time in this dunya. Instead, it is meant to help you to follow the sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, by building a healthier body, better mindset, and getting closer to Allah. And this is within 90 days. So for both Hafsa and Shama, the two clients I showed you that went through the system, they lost up to 15 kgs of body fat within 90 days that put them in the best shapes of their life. And this created habits that made them better Muslims. And all of these results made them realize they never want to stop using the system because it already created such incredible results and changed, just transformed their lives basically. Not only physically, but also spiritually, and also mentally. And now that you understand how this process works, I have an offer for you. If you're tired of being an unhealthy Muslim, feeling far away from Allah and maybe you're skinny or maybe you're overweight and you're ready to have a strong iman and you're ready to feel confident with your body. Just like Hafsa here and Shamad here, you want to see results like this. I will personally help you to lose 10% of your body weight, become a stronger role model for your family and deepen your relationship with Allah within 90 days using the stronger Muslim system I just told you about. And I'll even refund you if it doesn't work. So whenever you're ready to see these results that Hafsa and Shamad and hundreds of other Muslims have already seen and you want to become the best Muslim version of yourself, all you need to do is go to the description below on this video and there you'll find the first link which will lead to a calendar. And there you can book and schedule a one-on-one -on -one introduction call with me. And I will go through the whole system with you and how we can personalize the system for you so you can also lose 10% of your body weight, become a stronger role model for your family and get closer to Allah. Just as Hafsa and Shaman did, and on hundreds of other Muslims. And if it doesn't work, I even refund you. So I hope you took all the notes you could. If you haven't had time to take all the notes, just go back and rewatch the video if you need. I know there's a lot of information in there. And remember, the offer I gave you is a really important step you can take towards a better life, becoming a better Muslim version of yourself. And just go to the description, as I told you, down below this video, and click the first link and this will go to a calendar where you can schedule. And all the time should be in your local time, so don't worry. So you just pick the time that works for you and we'll have a call, we'll have a chat and I'll talk more about the system with you and we'll find out what kind of challenges you are going through and if we can help you at all and if you're a good fit for the program, inshallah. And as I told you, if it doesn't work for you, I will refund all the invested money back to you, inshallah ta'ala. And lastly, thank you for taking your time and watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want more videos like this, more implementation videos, more strategy videos, so you can take your health and your spirituality to the next level, inshallah ta'ala.